Hey guys, it's Suzanne Light. I pulled over at this church. I'm on my way to get my little man. Uh, Ash got to go into work late, so she got to take him this morning. So I've just been doing a lot of deep thinking. Um, wrote a very out of character prayer to God today about some things that I'm experiencing, some things that I'm feeling. I lost a very, 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 very good lifetime friend yesterday um, in death. It was very unexpected and it's, it's hard. And lots of times when we experience something like that, sometimes we do some deep thinking. Um, he was of a totally different faith than me but I know that he loved God. I know he loved his family. I know that um, I believe in my heart that he was ready to meet God. And I got to thinking, I was listening to Perry Stone preach about the kingdom of God and how that our generation or us now, we've gotten away a lot from what this whole thing is really about. We get hung up, and I say we, just in general, a lots of times about what denomination. There's many of you on here that watch me and you worship differently. Your church services are different. But we have developed a bond, and that bond is loving God with all of our heart, with our minds, our souls. And that's what we have in common. We don't discuss religion. I'm not gonna discuss it with anybody unless they're interested in knowing more about my church, my denomination. But I'm of the kind, I don't believe my denomination is the only right denomination. I think that's foolish teaching just because the Bible talks about the church of Christ and the church of God in the Bible, it is his church, his church, God's church. That's what it's all about. And the respect and the honor that we have for each other, as long as people, I believe, as long as people accept Jesus Christ as their savior, they ask him to forgive them of their sins and they ask him for his eternal life, I believe, that they are wanting God. I'm gonna start driving so I can go get my little man. But <clears throat> as y'all all know, we've been without a permanent pastor for many months. We loved the Masseys, John and I did, with all of our heart. We were sold 110%. And when they came to our church, Pastor Victor told us he came there to retire. So you say, okay, Suzanne, so why did he leave? Because there comes a time, we don't understand it, they don't even understand it, but God changed their assignment. I have some reasonings that I believe that I won't go into detail about, but I do not believe that, I believe his mission, I just believe his mission changed. I believe it was a very, very hard change for them it's been a very difficult change for us. Now, we're blessed that we've had Pastor Sargent. A lot of you have asked, why doesn't he stay? <laughs> he doesn't want us. <laughs> he pastored us for 20 years in the 90s. And, um, and so, and he's 78 years old. I know he doesn't look it, he doesn't act it. But his time as pastor, he is evangelism. He is a district pastor director. He works with churches when they're going through pastoral changes or when a pastor is sick. The man preaches all over the place. So the past two Sundays, we've listened to two different preachers. And so Sunday, we will come together as full-time members, tithe payers, and we will vote. And you've got people over here that wants this one. You got people over here that wants this one. I don't talk to a lot of people. I make it my purpose in life 
not to do a lot of idle talk because I've been through so many things through my life. God's just changed me a lot. Dana and I, especially now that he's back at my church, we share more about stuff intimately and I have a few friends that I do with, just a very, like, two or three friends that I share things with. And people would say, who do you want? Who do you want? Who do you want? And it's not about who I want. It's about who God wants. And I'm going to apply that to everything in our life. I'm struggling with some things right now. I'm struggling with some things. Not big things that if, it, if I told anybody, they wouldn't think they're big things, but they're big things to me, okay? I talked with John some this weekend when we went off and and just told him I was struggling. And he, he knew. He knew. And, um, and like I said, it would probably seem silly to some of you, but it's a real struggle to me. And my thing is, I want the kingdom of God. That's what I want. I want what God wants. And many times when we sail completely out and we say, Lord, I want what you want. Because I kind of thought I would like one guy more than the other, but I told John, I said, I am not going in there with a made up mind that I'm choosing this one. I'm going in there saying, God, who do you want for this church? Okay? I have no idea which one will get it. I have no idea. I've not discussed it. <coughs> Just a couple people have expressed to me, you know, that they, and like I said, I talk to very few people. I've just learned that through the years. Sometimes that's the best. Um, I want in my life, in my husband's life, in my daughter and son-in-law, my grandchildren, all my family, I want what God wants. And if we can get to the place as Christians that we can lay aside denominational differences, whether you be Catholic, Pentecostal, Baptist, there's some channels that I have found. Well, actually, I heard a young lady talking about Christian channels that she liked. And when she did, I went, oh, so I wrote them down. I have been utterly shocked at some of them of how much fun they make of other preachers, denominations. Now, there are people that I will absolutely not listen to, preachers. But I'm not going to get on YouTube and attack them. Okay? Some of you, I've mentioned people before, and some of you have said, oh, Suzanne, be careful. Kind of check that out. And, and, and one of you did when I mentioned Todd White one time. I just found Todd White and was watching him. And one of you said, just be careful. Check, do some checking. Well, I did, and I didn't like what I found. But have you seen me on here bashing a preacher that I don't like? No, you're not going to. My job as a Christian is to do what's right for me, to give wise counsel when people ask for that, to direct them to my church if they're looking for a church. I have directed people to other churches before that wanted something different. Um, Jesus believed in Bible taught churches. If Christians would bind together during the days we're living. We don't need to be fragmented. We need to be united. As much as possible, we need to be united. Because if you don't think the kingdom of God, that the, that the rapture of the church is close, then you don't believe like I do. Because I'm just amazed sometimes that he still allows us to be here with everything that's going on. But if we could unite together as the body of Christ, disregard our differences, as long, you know, and, and I'm talking about differences that are not unethical or immoral, okay? I'm talking about 
uh, the difference between Catholics and Pentecostals and Baptist and Methodist and all that. See, when I love y'all and when I talk to you about the Lord and y'all tell me you're praying for me, I don't say, well, are you Church of God? Because if that's what I am and I need you to be Church of God to pray for me. How foolish. When you serve the same God that I do, I guarantee you, you get in a car wreck and you're at the point of death, you're not going to be asking about denominations. And as Perry was teaching, the Lord just started laying that on my heart. The kingdom of God has got to come together, unite. And I feel like that's what we do. I feel like that's what we do. I, that's what, whew. That's one reason I feel this channel is important. Yes, I show you family vlogs. Yes, I do things besides teaching. But in everything I do, I want to represent Christ. I want to show people, hey, you can have a great time laughing and cutting up and be a great Christian. You know, my channel's about positivity. My channel's about family. My channel's about love. Do I have problems in my family? Of course I do. I've had some bad, bad problems. Do I struggle? Yes, I just told you a few minutes ago that I've been struggling. But God is the foundation. And that's what I told him in my prayer this morning. I said, you are my strength. And I don't feel very strong right now. And you are the rock that I have stood upon through so many traumas in my life. You are the rock that I have stood upon, and I will not step off that rock. So just help me to be what you need me to be in order to do what I'm supposed to do. You never know, even this video, you never know how it can change somebody by one thing you say, obeying God. Now, I was enjoying Perry's sermon, and I want to hear the rest of it. But God just prompted me and said, tell them about my kingdom and how important it is to love each other. And, you know, people can have major life differences. And I used to be very staunch about what I believed. I still am very rigid in what I believe. But my opinions have changed how I treat people who do not live like I do because God first of all wants me to show the love of God and Diana and I were talking this morning it's not what I say it's what I do how do I make you feel how do I pray for you how do I offer you encouragement you know what that's doing that's enlarging the kingdom of God and if you don't think the enemy wants me to stop this very thing I'm doing, you're so wrong. He wants me to stop it. He hates me encouraging others. And I know that I do. Not me, but him through me. But I tell God, I said, you are that rock that I have stood upon so many times when I didn't know up from down. And you are still that rock under my feet this very day and I praise you for it. I don't feel it today. I don't feel strong. I I have felt his presence mightily in telling you this, but he wants you defeated and we don't have to live defeated, nor do we have to live separated from each other because of different beliefs. If there's nothing else, I mean, isn't it amazing how you can have a little league ball team and you can come together and you can learn a whole group of families that you never knew before until that point that your child was playing ball with this team. You had nothing in common with each other. And that's exactly the way it is with Christ. When we come together as brothers and sisters in Christ united, as I was telling you, my friend that just passed away, totally different denomination than me. And I was, I was just thinking about it this morning. And I was like, God, I know he loved you. I know. I, I just, I have peace totally about it. You know, there are people in my church that I don't agree with. There are people that do things that I don't agree with. So denominations 
doesn't mean a thing because you go to church with somebody. You're not going to believe totally like them or just totally be in sync. It is just us being in sync for God. I hope this has made sense. I hope this has made sense. Look, I want y'all praying for me. I need y'all praying for me. I need to get back. I worked on lessons and it just seems like it's one thing after another and I know that the enemy is trying to distract and I know that that's my purpose also in life that's what I'm supposed to do so you pray for me you say Lord I don't know what Miss Suzanne's struggling about but you help her and I believe in your prayers I don't care if you're Catholic Methodist now I don't want any of you devil worshipers praying for me I have any devil worshipers out here. But you see what I'm saying? It's that common thread that runs through all of us, and that is the blood of Jesus Christ and the, the our Creator, God Almighty, that made us in the image of Him, that we could live like Him, and that we can live for Him. I love you guys. I'm picking up my little man, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Today, we learned the um, yeah, I, we learned about um, 20 who so it's maybe our last number. Uh -huh. I got because I got we because some got because on the on the walls they had like 20 and and they have the 20 thing and the, and the 20 in the macro number on it, uh -huh. it's 20. And you got it on filming, yes, it's okay, on my good, face. They don't want to hear that. So, you learned about the number 20. Yeah. You think that's your I know one of the letters are easy to make. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah, watch your Watch my finger. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of letter. Um, is it a U? No, it's a letter like this. I don't know what letter it is. That kind of looks like a U or a V. No, um, it's pointing up and then go with bottom. Uh-huh. And then go up. And did y'all Did y'all learn anything about God today? Yeah. What'd you learn? I learned about. I didn't. I didn't play with. I didn't eat snack today. You didn't eat snacks, huh? Of course, because I. Because my teacher said that I was too excited to play with toys. Oh, <laughs> you're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just talk about God. Okay. Guys, um, I just left school, and then, and then, and then. But then let me tell you stuff about God. Okay, Jesus died on the cross. God is the king. God is smarter than us. I didn't mean I know what Jesus looks like. I don't know what God looks like. But God made this whole world by itself. All the world by itself. Because God made our hearts and our bones and blood and all this stuff for our body. He made healthy stuff. He made milk. He made ham because he made pigs. He made cows because that's why he made milk. And that's why I'm talking. Dang it. Does that sound like God words? Mm -hmm. How did God make all of us look so different? We look different when we grow up. Yeah. Great look different when she, when she was a kid. Yeah. Because she wasn't have those like weird looking arms who had like lines on them, like like weird stuff, like old stuff. Mm -hmm. You know how you know how people have that when they're old. Mm -hmm. My grand one, like like nanny has one. Mm -hmm. and so great. So Nanny, um, she been to Great's house. Yes. Never mind. Let me just talk okay. about God. God made everything on here. He made. Uh, all the animals. Oh yeah, he made trees, horses. He made all the trees. Oh yeah, the pretty trees and the sun and the sky. Moon. Yeah, and the meteors. Uh -huh. 
meteors come from the stuff in space and they hit you. <laughs> he made uh, the fruit to go on some grow on the trees. Oh yeah. And they made the galaxies, space, the stars, and everything. Yes. Okay guys, thanks for watching this thing. Help you if you go to school, learn about it. If you don't go to school, you're a grown up, okay? Bye.